Hi there, welcome to Artifact Studio. We're glad you joined us. This video is a tutorial to demonstrate how to design a project using Artifact Builder. To design a project, go to the File menu and select Build Book. This will give you a choice of products and sizes that you can create. Today we'll select the Art Nouveau 5x5 hardcover and select Create Project. After Artifact Builder loads, you'll notice four main areas on your screen. The first is a column of icons to the left. This includes the controls to add pages, remove pages, rearrange pages, clear the page of its contents, save your project, save your project is another name, add text, toggle the trim and safe lines, apply a design grid, adjust the rules, and preview your project without navigational elements. The second is the design stage where your project is ready to be built. This includes a book navigation panel indicated by spread icons. The third area is the elevator navigation to the right. This allows you to change the views of your project, control adjustment to your containers and images, manage the project options such as cover and page substrates, manipulate the layer order of the place containers, and the controls to automatically build a book and proof book. The fourth section is a tabular navigation that allows you to select design templates, add containers, apply graphics, and add images to your project. There are several ways to build pages. You can add templates to the project pages. You can add individual containers, or you can pre-build pages in the form of pre-built spreads from another graphic application like Photoshop. To manipulate the containers, you can use the grab bars on the edges to adjust the size and shape. The rotate tool allows it to move 360 degrees. You can use the control menu to do much more, such as cut, copy, and paste containers, center on page, center on spread, resize to page bleed, and resize to spread bleed, and of course, remove the container. You'll also find the options here for background color, container alpha selection, drop shadow controls, and container borders. Once you have the containers in place where we'd like them, you can start adding images. To do this, simply drag and drop them in the containers you've placed in your project. Images have some additional feature controls found under the Controls menu, Images tab. You can apply some basic edge effects, size the image inside the container, Adjust the alpha of the image for transparency and apply RGB changes. Lastly, we'll want to make sure that we design the dust jacket. It's an option with the Art Nouveau hardcover book series. To do this, just select the dust jacket spread from the top of the page. This will give you a spread view of the dust jacket and allow you to add containers and images like we did in the pages of your book. Remember to save your work, and you're done.